Okay, so this is the Sony A9. This is the uh, fifth run, but the first uh, forward-looking infrared thermal view of the back of the Sony A9. Um, it timed out just a minute or so ago at 27 minutes, and, uh, and I'd start another set. Been no overheating warnings. I'm going to take out, flip out the LCD right now, and it's averaging about 113, 114 degrees at the hottest which is exactly where it should be and let's take a top-down view of the a9 let me flip the lcd back here you can actually see it's on a white cardboard box let me show you you see my warm handprint there we go see 103 degrees been no overheating warning i know it's only 78 degrees in here but the point of this is a baseline comparison to every other camera I've tested in 4K at the same temperature. And it's falling within the exact same temperature parameters as uh, uh, the Fujifilm X-T2 and the Nikon D500. Those are also averaging right at about 100, 104 degrees. This only seems to be 5 degrees above that, but since it's in a lot smaller package, that's certainly to be expected. Let me reposition the camera. Take a look at the back only. Yeah, 107, 108. Same thing over here. Once again, hottest would be behind the LCD. 110 to 115 was the hottest I recorded. So this is the fourth. Right now it's like 4.30 in the morning. So I've already recorded like three hours of video. Non-stop, I might remind you. On uh, the Sony A9. I know it's only 78 degrees, so someone's going to bitch about that. It's only 78 degrees! You're not outside in the sun! Well, I know I'm not. But I'm running a baseline relative to other cameras. I've tested at 4K at the exact same temperature. So... Here we go, same, same. And once again, top-down view on the A9 2470 G Master. You can actually also see how the heat has uh, migrated. You also see how the heat, as I move the camera, the heat on the box has warmed the box up to about 90 degrees right there. So if you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. But this is this is a lot of friggin' video recording on the A9, so at 4K, okay, at 4K, and I also do not have the uh, temperature warning uh, extended. It's sitting at standard, so and it's running the old firmware. It's not running the new firmware right now. I decided not to upgrade that. I thought I'll leave it at the old firmware. See if I can get it to overheat. Can't do it. There you go, boys and girls. Now you see it in thermal infrared right now. I don't know what more you need to know. There we go.